It was an interview that went viral, right, from Cameron Mays talking about how big you could have been. Pause. They said you could have been on Jay-Z level. And Jim Jones, he wasn't too happy about them comments. But I want to ask you, how did you personally feel about them comments? And how do you feel about the people that say that, you know, you being lazy is the reason why you didn't reach your full potential? No, I mean, I, I, I did hear that. I, I, um, yeah, he, can't, he, didn't, he didn't use those words. So I, don't, I ain't even going, because then that would make me, you know what I'm saying? But he, he did say, they did, you know what I mean, mention me being the next Jay-Z. And I mean, yeah, maybe, maybe I, maybe I could have. I wouldn't want to say Jay-Z because I never strived to be Jay-Z. You know what I'm saying? I think that's where Jim kind of like took it. I mean, shout out to Jim. He's my brother. So, you know, he going to say, he going to say how he feel all the time. You know what I'm saying? But, um, yeah, and then, which is the truth. I never was trying to be Jay-Z. I was always just trying to be mean. You know what I'm saying? Even like, you know, a lot of people was claiming King of New York. My whole thing, I was the prince of the city. You know what I'm saying? I never wanted that, that King spot or that, you know what I'm saying? But I was that nigga. You know what I'm saying? So in that sense, I know what they're saying. I, I, me being, just being that nigga and being one of them guys, I think that's, that, that's more or less how they meant it. So and that's how I'm, you know, kind of like carry it. But, um, yeah, you know, it's, I definitely could have been way further than I am. You know what I'm saying? It, 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 but I don't ever blame nobody. That's what the thing with me is. I don't never, I blame myself for anything that that's held me back. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't sit there... I'm not the nigga running around, yo, yo, he, this, that, and the third, you know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, but you could never say I was lazy and nobody, even if you look at my track record in the game, like, I always said, I didn't put out albums. And for whatever reason, I didn't put out albums, politic reasons, I still gave hella music. Look at my mixtape track record. I got about nine mixtapes out there. Don't get it twisted. I mean, me and Wayne got two mixtapes out there. You know what I mean? couple 40 songs out there so that was just the politics of the label you got to understand it's like and you see it now like with these labels oh, all the big artists telling you how you should have been independent it was a lot of games being played at labels so our game was to not turn in the album you know what i'm saying and you see a lot of artists that was our 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 weight you know what i mean to not turn in the album you know what i'm saying so I would put out mixtapes. I put out mixtapes in the time with Def Jam bullshit and they dropping the ball. They not doing what I need them to do or they not doing things how I feel them or, or, or putting me in the light that I need them to put me in. You know what I'm saying? And that's the thing. I never feel like I had the team around me that I needed to have to, to push me to that next level. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, that's not me blaming nobody. That's, that's kind of like me. I, I, I'm responsible for putting that team around me. You know what I'm saying? I've always kind of like wanted to help the homies and wanted to help, you know what I mean, the guys. You know what I'm saying? That they, they never really got it together. It's just me trying to, you know what I'm saying? Empower people that maybe I shouldn't have been trying to empower. You know what I'm saying? But we all live and we learn at the end of the day. So, but I got hella music out there. If you look at my track record, that's why I'd be like, it's really just albums. My, my, Album wise, I didn't, you know, two albums. So it's like over the years, well, two albums on Def Jam and then God Willing was really an album. You understand what I'm saying? That was, but I said mixtape because I didn't want Def Jam to, to have that. I made more money on it as a mixtape. You understand what I'm saying? So it's just like now how people play with words and stuff like that. And then it's like, even for the sales part of it, yeah, it's like, if y'all not going to put all the backing into it for me to get the amount of sales that I know I should be getting, because like you said, I know I'm like a Jay-Z or a Wayne, so I'm not going to have it back in the day. It was like sales really matter. So it's like first week, if y'all not going to put the effort in, into it that I need y'all to put into it for my first week sales to reflect the kind of nick that I am, you know what I'm saying? Then I'll just keep going the mixtape route and keep feeding my fans. They love me. You understand what I'm saying? And if you look at the way the game went, like, come on, bro. Like, really look at my history. It's Bryce Davis on the check-in. And we got Joel Santana on the Art of Dialogue, where he responds to Cameron, basically calling him lazy. Uh, this happened on It Is What It Is with Mace, where Joel pretty much gives a lengthy response. Pause. Now, I understand around the time that Joel's and Skull Gang had got raided, that's when we stopped getting music from Joel's. But it's like, yo, it's 2024, yo. Like, 
why ain't the music coming out? Like every New Year's, you drop a teaser saying new music's on the way, new music dropping. I done did videos in the past speaking on it, saying, yo, uh, we got this track coming out, but we all know the music ain't coming with it. And every year you dupe us. Like this is like Dr. Dre almost. But Joel's, I don't understand why he just doesn't put stuff out. Like we see Jim Jones everywhere. Jim Jones hopping on features. You see uh, Jimmy dropping tapes, all types of stuff. We just don't get nothing from him. And I don't think Joel's is lazy. Like I do think that him getting raided and going to jail held him back. I don't think he's lazy in the sense of, I don't think he just sits around and never records, but it's like the Dr. Dre thing. He'll record the music, but he never puts it out. And he'll go on Instagram and tease us with it and say that it's coming soon. Like, yo, give us a date. Matter of fact, you gave us a date with DJ Drama and that mixtape still ain't come out, but we knew that. So at this point, I don't really believe anything. I mean, I do understand the label politics back then. You know, like, just drop something, something on the streaming service. Something's better than nothing. At this point, we can't say it's the label anymore. I understand, you know, you didn't want to be Jay-Z, you know, status, and you didn't feel like you may have had the best people to put music out. But at the same time, can we just get the music? I mean, we're not going to be sitting here arguing that, you know, you're the best MC or whatever the case may be. We just want to hear the music as fans, yo. And I'd even say Joel's got Lil Wayne a couple times on the I Can't Feel My Face, in my honest opinion. Now, I think Wayne... You know, mostly was body and everything, but there was some times where Joel's definitely got him. So, you know, the talent ain't lacking at this point. I don't know what it is. Like, we just don't get nothing. But anyway, let me know how y'all feel about it in the comments. And of course, if you like the video, make sure you like and subscribe.